Hey guys, Boz here. So today at 3 p.m., that's July 29th, 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, if you're confused about time zones, first link in this description of the video has a link to the countdown. When that reaches zero, everything starts. But today at 3, I'm going to be doing UHC live streams. Everybody's welcome to come play. You need to have 1.10.2 Minecraft, and uh, you need to use either the Discord web app, which means you don't have to install anything, or the Discord app itself. Uh, you don't need to have it to play, you just need to have it, even just the web app, so that I can talk to you to give out final instructions before a game starts, and it's also how we give out the port IP. So we're going to be using my plugin. My plugin supports a lot of different game modes. It's one plugin that supports tons of different UHC game modes and then a ton of different options. I'm just going to mention some of the stuff really quick here. Uh, you know, we have standard UHC, which is the normal thing where you have teams you don't regen health, you gotta do golden apples, golden hedge, not notch apples, god apples, whatever you wanna call them, potions of healing, that kind of stuff. Uh, fight to where you're the last team or the last player, depending on if it's a team or a solo game. We have experience levels that keep you alive, there's that mode. We have the mole, we have the effective, mystery teams, point mode, nether fight, super friends, gold rush, free for all servers, race to the end, invis war, telewar, manhunt mode, Time Fracture, Game of Thrones, Hearts of Gold, and The Gathering. So that's like 15 or 16, I don't even know. Different game modes. And then we have a ton of different options. Adjustable players, adjustable on each team, how many? Adjustable team numbers. Adjustable border size and shrinking size. Name tags, off, on. Friendly fire, coordinates. Uh, always day or night of the uh, game, or always day at the end. Spawn chests are on or off, or a survivor game where there's multiple spawn chests. Uh, spawn the players multiple distances apart. Lava rising at the end to certain heights and speeds. God mode at start to give people a chance to get chunks loaded. Sharing health with your teammates, sharing damage across the team. Being kicked, you know, if you're AFK, in game, day or night, like I had mentioned earlier. A, a survival leash game, or an alone spawn mode where you spawn, everybody spawns alone. Um, dropping flesh when you die, off or on. Paranoia mode where the coordinates are given out in chat when people kill somebody or, or find something that tells you where they found it at coordinates wise. Disabling bows. Wing wars where you start off with wings. Uh, explosive arrows, which is a new one, which we're going to be testing today. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, the arrows basically are like TNT when they hit stuff, and there's no delay. It hits and explodes. And then we have um, a new one that I'm not talking about until we reveal it and people find it. So all those optional features that I just went through, those are things that can be tweaked in the other game modes. So you could have uh, mole with explosive arrows, you know, and you could have um, paranoia mode turned on for, for that also and you can tweak a lot of these things so there's really an unlimited different style of games and I'm continually adding more games I have about five or six other game modes that I haven't even got finished yet so there's some of these modes just you know they're in the code but they're not ready to be tested yet so it's a lot of fun we hope you come play we stream it on my twitch channel uh, come play come watch come talk come hang out sometimes we do giveaways uh, we'll probably do some giveaways uh, this Friday today so come hang out and we'll see you in the battle.